the next learning objective is um, how to calculate two specific terrain variables called slope and aspect. And these are again calculated typically from DEM. So the slope and aspect are basically the rise over run and the direction, steepest direction of that slope. Um, they're used in many applications in hydrology, uh, conservation, site planning, and typical urban infrastructure development. Uh, for example, watershed boundaries and flow paths and directions um, can be determined using slope and aspect. Um, so typically the slope is given in two ways. Um, it can be given as percent of the rise over run or it can be given as an angle. The angle would vary uh, 0 degrees for flat and 90 degrees for vertical. Um, and so the aspect angle, on the other hand, um, is relative to the north direction in a clockwise direction. So it'll be 0 for north and 90 degrees for east, 180 for south, 270 for west, and um, 360 completes the circle. Now, when we are calculating the slope and aspect, we primarily use the neighboring cells. So at any given cell, we take the eight neighbors of that cell, and what we compute is the x direction slope and y direction slope. That is dz by dx and dz by dy, where z is the elevation. Once we have these two numbers, then slope and aspect can be easily calculated. So tangent of slope is the square root of, um, or uh, square root of the sum of the squares of these two slopes in the x and y direction. And alpha is basically just arc tangent of the ratio, but we have some factors added to convert this angle into an angle relative to the north direction. So this is um, the, the, the conversion of, because this angle arc tangent of dz by dy over dz by dx is going to give us an angle relative to the x direction. Um, but we need to convert this into an angle uh, relative to north direction. The other thing is that this angle is going to be counterclockwise angle and we need to convert it into a clockwise angle. So the 90 degree, sh this, this shifts it by 90 degrees to match it with the north direction and then subtraction uh, from, min uh, from 180 changes the direction of the angle. So uh, there are many different formulas that exist to compute the dz by dx and dz by dy. And once we have those two values, then we can find slope and aspect. The two methods that we, um, are, we commonly use are called four-neighbor slope and the third-order finite difference slope. In case of four-neighbor slope, um, for this given pixel, pixel, which is z0, we only use the north-south neighbors and east-west neighbors. So the north-south neighbors will be used to compute dz by dy, and east-west pixels will be used to compute dz by dx. Um, so in this case, dz by dx will be 49 minus 40 divided by the distance. So in this case, pixel size is 10, so it'll be 10 plus 10 because it's two pixels away, so that'll be 20. So 49 minus 40 over 20, so slope along the x direction is 0.45. Similarly, slope along the y direction is minus 0 0.15, and so the slope for this case is 25.3 degrees um, or if we didn't do the arc tangent it will give us a ratio that can be um, converted into percentage. The other, um, um, so one of the things that we can do, we can also create kernels that can be used to filter DEM and so instead of running um, this kind of uh, calculation for each pixel separately, we have these 3 by 3 kernel that can be applied to the whole image to get dz by dx and dz by dy. So for example, the kernel could be, uh, for dz by dx will be um, 
minus 1 and 1 at the west and each location and 0 everywhere else. So when I overlay this kernel over to this image and apply it, um, naturally all of these values will be multiplied by 0 so they will not contribute and this value will ha be 49 multiplied by 1 and this one will be 40 multiplied by minus 1. And when I add all of these values, what I will get potentially will be um, 49 minus 40. Um, and then I can scale all of these values by 1 over 2c, which will give me a filter that will work the same way at every location and will give me a value of x-axis slope. Similarly, I can rotate it um, to create a dz by dy kernel. So in this case, north location or north pixel is 1 and south pixel is minus 1. And when I apply this filter at a given location in my DEM, I will get um, z2 minus z7 or 1 minus uh, 1 times 45 times minus 1 times 48. So that would give me the y direction slope. And again, those two can be used to compute the slope. The other method is the third order finite difference. And in this case, we are not just using the slope along the four neighbors, but we also use the other corner neighbors as well. So this is an eight neighbor um, method. And if we look at the kernel, Basically, we are taking the, the difference, simple difference between the corner pixels and we are taking the twice the difference between the um, east and west pixel. Similarly, if we look at the north-south direction or y direction slope, then we are taking simple difference between the corner pixels and twice the difference between the north and south pixels. Um, and again, all of these values are added, and in this case, because there are one, two, and another two, four differences, we divide it by um, eight times the cell size in both of these cases. And we are using the same data in the two approaches, and in this approach, if we follow, find the dz by dx using these two methods, and then find the slope, we get 22.9 degrees. As you can see that different approaches give different values, but they are close enough. 25.3 degrees, 22.9 degrees. This one is computationally a little bit more intensive than the four neighbor method. But at the end, we get an estimate of pixel. It's an estimate, it's not the actual slope because um, depending upon the cell size, the concept of slope may be vague. Um, but DEM is a model, and this slope represents the slope as seen by the model. The aspect can be calculated in a similar way as described earlier. I want to point out here, as I said earlier, the angle A is relative to x direction in the counterclockwise uh, direction, whereas aspect is an angle relative to north direction, and it goes from 0 to 2 pi. So alpha 0 means north direction and a 0 means the positive x-axis.